Yeah, that just might be overkill. Okay, so in its present state, my gaming PC slash YouTube production PC slash general purpose PC over my shoulder over here is a 70-ish mega hash Ethereum mining beast. Now to get 70 mega hash while Ethereum mining, basically you take two really powerful cards and slap them in the same machine and just mine away. It's actually really, really simple. Now in my case, I have my GTX 1070 SC edition as well as my brand new 1080 Ti SC2 from both from EVGA and they're both just sitting in the same PC and mining away. Now for some of you that aren't familiar with mining and how that works differently from gaming, you may be wondering how I'm able to put a 1080 Ti and a 1070 in the exact same machine and the basic answer is they don't have to work in tandem. They're actually doing their own thing completely separately and then the software itself is combining the mega hash together, uh, their, their mining rate and getting the total being uh, up to 70 mega hash. Now the nice thing about running multiple graphics cards, even if they're different graphics cards off of the same system, is you only have to worry about powering one CPU while you're powering your graphics cards separately. And of course, if your goal is to mine and be profitable, then by saving a little bit on that energy cost, that just goes directly over into profit, which is what's happening on my system right here. The 1080 Ti and the 1070 are completely independent of each other in their mining task. Now, the nice thing about mining, at least in, in this scenario, and I'm, I, I'm not familiar enough with other mining scenarios to know if they take configuration, but at least using uh, Claymore's Ethereum mining software, there's absolutely no additional setup for adding graphics cards. There, there was nothing for me to code in there. There's no GPU one, GPU two configuration going on. You just slap in the second GPU, wait for the uh, driver software to recognize that you have uh, two different display drivers and then you start your mine and it automatically just goes. There's absolutely zero configuration, at least with Claymore mine. Now, as far as practical mining goes, this system is not staying configured in uh, its current state with a 1080 Ti and a 1070 because I use this PC for gaming as well as for a lot of other tasks, including producing YouTube videos. So I want this machine to be free, but I also want to run the 1070 at full bore all the time because I no longer need it in my main rig. So the 1070 is actually going into a separate system and it will be mining probably 24 seven in an effort to make some uh, more Ethereum for myself. That being said, if you are planning on building your own 70 mega hash system that's similar to this with something of a similar hardware state, then there are a few things you should be aware of. First off, drawing from the wall, this uh, power supply is pulling about 500 to 550 watts. And granted, that's also with uh, slight overclocks on both my graphics cards, uh, both the 1070 and the uh, 1080 Ti are indeed overclocked. And the Ryzen processor, which is, uh, running windows in the background is also overclocked. So if you have a lower power processor, you could probably get away with a slightly smaller power supply. But if you're gonna be running two 1080 Ti's at full bore all the time, you're probably gonna wanna err on the side of caution and have at least something like a 750 watt power supply. You might be able to get away with a 600 watt power supply if your CPU is really low power. But keep in mind, you won't be able to do any additional tasks if you're using a higher power CPU in the background while your GPUs are mining. So this system was really just me putting it together while I had both cards out and available uh, just to see what kind of uh, hash rate I could pull with a 1070 and a 1080 Ti in the same system. But I wanna know from you guys, if you are miners, what cards are you currently using? Are you just doing it as a hobby to make a little bit of extra money through the mining of Ethereum? Or are you really actually putting a serious investment in your mining rig? And if so, what cards are you using, especially with the GPU market being so outrageously expensive at the moment. So let me know in the comments down below. As always, guys, if you like this content, like it, share it, comment down below. Those help out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They are the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.